Hi guys, welcome back to Otter's RC Garage. Today we are unboxing our brand new TRX4M. So we were able to get this new from our local hobby shop. Uh, it did take us a week to get, so uh, that's why we're a little bit behind. But we were able to get not only the uh, Defender, the green body Defender, we were able to get the light kit for it and the trailer as well. So we wanted to make sure to support our local hobby shop, so we made sure we went and got each piece. Unfortunately, the green Defender was a hot commodity and it was gone by the time we got there. Um, so the first night that we went down there to go get it, we were able to actually only able to get the uh, lighting kit and the guy actually sort of laughed at us that we were getting the lighting kit before we got the truck. We were over at a friend's house and he was looking on Facebook and he saw the hobby shop got the trailers in. Uh, so we ended up hopping in the truck right then, ran down and grabbed the trailer. Still sort of laughing because you now we have the light kit and we have the trailer but still don't have the rig. But lucky for us, the very next night uh, I got the phone call, uh, they had one on hold for us and we got our green defender. Now we're gonna unbox this and show you guys what all comes inside. Alright let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> Just grab the edges there like that. Okay. And then pull. Manual. You got the owner's manual. Comes with a couple little tools, whatnot you might need. A little some spacers for the spacing things out if you want. And then the controller. Yep, got the controller. Typical Traxxas TQ controller. Uh, has a steering trim adjustment. Uh, it does have the set, which I believe for this also works like the full scale, where you can use it for uh, cruise control. You uh, pull the trigger to where you want the speed and then you hit set and you can let up and it'll keep cruising along. I actually just got to use that on my full size yesterday. And then the battery? Yep. Okay. We got the battery inside here. If we open that up. Uh, we got our fire hazard. It's a lipo battery. And we got another huge fire hazard. <laughs> it's bigger than the battery. So the one thing about this battery, uh, it's a proprietary three pin plug. Get this up here close, see if you guys can see. So it's just like a little T setup. So I'm pretty sure there's a way to tap into that and make an adapter to charge it with a normal charger, which that's probably gonna be the first thing I do. Because the next thing we got is the charger that it comes with. This is the charger that it comes with. It's just the normal USB and plugs into the battery. And I'm sure it'll work well, but if you know anything about LiPos, you know that if you're not gonna be using them for a while, you don't wanna keep them at a full charge and you don't wanna keep them dead either. So you put them into what's called a storage mode. Uh, this charger is not capable of doing that. So, it's one of them things you're gonna have to be sort of mindful of how long you run the battery and don't run it too low and don't run it or don't charge the battery and let it sit for more than three or four days. And the truck. Why don't you tell us why you chose this? I chose this because of the green. I like the green a lot and the accessories that come on the back already. Yeah, we got the two two jerry cans there. We got the bumper jack. So these bumper jacks are old school, but I think the trail guys still use them. Uh, you actually attach the lever to uh, the bumper instead of underneath the axle, and then you use a big lever to jack it on up. Uh, works well on the trail because it's got a big, nice foot, but they are pretty dangerous, and I know they were outlawed for spares. Um, I also like that it comes with the roof basket. Yeah, that would be really cool. We can get some scale accessories to put up top there. And then, um, headlights. Cody comes with headlights. Yep, it does come with these little bumper lights. Uh, that comes factory. And like I said, we did get the uh, lighting kit. That is something that we are going to be adding in the next video uh, that we do in this. This is going to be a series that we do. We're going to be upgrading this to make this uh, her, her mini crawler, basically. Uh, we're also in the process of building a course downstairs in the basement 
so we'll have an indoor crawling course for these mini crawlers as well and be able to do some competitions and this just gives us another vehicle to do those competitions with so now we have the trailer uh, this trailer is pretty special uh, Traxxas has not came out with one of these for the 10th scale so I'm really shocked they came out with this for the uh, 24 for the 18th scale so in the trailer you get a little kit for your hitch to hook up your hitch it also gives you some extra spacers for the springs to keep the back end at normal ride height trailer's pretty neat it's got some details it's got like little lights they are just stickers um, but still pretty cool it does have these slots which makes me wonder if they're gonna have like uh, some bed like wooden bed bed size you can put in there or I'm sure if you're fancy with a 3d printer you could probably make some little bed sides to go in there and really change this little trailer into something else I can see here in the future maybe people making some like uh, camper trailers or camper tops that pop up and stuff so everyone is comparing these to the SCX 24s because I mean obviously the SCX 24s came out first and sort of got this mini crawling uh, fad really going in the last couple of years uh, a lot of people are saying well the TRX 4 is not fair because it's an 18 scale compared to the 24 scales to that I wanted to say let's compare these this deadbolt so this deadbolt is supposed to be basically I mean it should be the size of a Jeep if not smaller than a Jeep it's basically based off of like a caged buggy uh, side by side so if you look at that wheelbase wise compared to the Defender the wheelbases are not too far off and I know people have compared the Gladiator and the Gladiator wheelbase is the exact same as what these SCX 24s are and also tire size these mudslingers are actually taller than what these uh, Canyon Trails are which if my memory serves me correctly I believe these Canyon Trails are supposed to be like 33s on a real size truck so really I think the deadbolt is pretty comparable as far as an off-road trailing buggy is concerned with the Defender so the third one here is our Yukon now this Yukon is actually based off of it's a model based off of a 124th scale true to scale and as you can see it's actually the wheelbase is a little bit stretched from underneath the wheel wells which if you're gonna lift a truck you will probably end up stretching it a little bit or maybe using a different frame the length is what you're after basically for crawling so this is more of a true actual 124 scale vehicle compared to a 118th at which point I believe yeah there is no real comparison this 24th is a lot smaller than the 18th which it should be but looking at numbers I've seen a lot of people that run the actual numbers and from what I've heard is the deadbolt is actually closer more to a 119.8 ish so about 120th scale the uh, TRX 4M's they're actually considered to be more of a like a 119th scale than a 118th and the only true SCX 24 that is actually closest to an SC to a 24 scale is the Jeep body that this started out with the uh, the four door or four door square back Jeep. That one though is still only a 123 and a half scale. So scale wise, I think they're all comparable. At the end of the day, the only thing that's going to really matter is your is your gap and your tire size and also your ground clearance. So I think all three of these are going to be really fun to compare and see how they do in our off road course later on especially after we get some upgrades done on this to match the upgrades done on these two. I hope you guys like this unboxing with us. Uh, this is going to be a series that we are doing. So this is going to be the first of many videos, hopefully, where we're upgrading this little TRX 4M. And probably next video, we're going to be doing the light kit, as we said, and we'll also be hooking up this trailer, hooking the hitch up to it. And maybe then we'll get some runtime on it and show you guys how this can do compared to our others. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.